hi welcome to this excel and power bi video tutorial in this video i'm going to show us how to calculate average daily total using the dax function therefore let's get started the average daily totals allows us to compare trend across different time period or across different categories of field now let's see how to do this in excel and also in the power bi now in excel we have this sample sys data which is officially formatted as an Excel table, and we are given a meaningful sales table name. So what I'm going to do next is to get this data into the Power Pivot or the data model, and also create a pivot table. Now to get this data into the data model, you can click on this Power Pivot tab and click on Add to the data model. But to use one stone to kill two birds, click on Insert tab and click on Pivot table. And of course, we have this Pivot table range box coming up. And the name of the table is recognized so we can choose new sheet or existing sheet let's put it in an existing sheet and select the location very importantly we need to check this add this data to the data model but that is what allows us to create our explicit DAX measures now we need to check this and let's click on OK all right so we can see that pivot table field is ready and of course we can also see the data inside our power pivot that is the data model okay so there are two ways in which you can actually create dax measures you can actually do that in the measure grid inside the power pivot window or you can even come to the pivot table and right click on the name of the table and choose add measures now let's go back to the power pivot window and let's create all our DAX measure actually we need three of them so the first one is the total sales explicit tax measure now just select one of the cell in the measure grid and come to the formula bar and type in the name of the measure total sales then we put in the colon equal sign and then we use the sum aggregate DAX function now it requires the column name so I want to select this entire total column so we have the name of the table and of course the name of the column is inside the square bracket so we can close off the sum aggregate dax function click enter and let's apply in the dollar currency formatting and we have one billion eight two seven million plus now we need another measure and the next one is we want to count the distinct dates okay now that's going to be based on the date column in this place now let's do that type in the name of the DAX measure count of distinct dates okay then semicolon equal sign and we just going to use the distinct count DAX function press the tab key i want to get the name of the column which is the date column close of the distinct count click enter now based on the entire 9754 records there are 5476 count of distinct dates okay now the last measure we're going to create is the average daily total which is to take the total sales divide by the count of distinct dates now to do that you can actually use the divide tax function so let's call the name of the title um, average average daily daily total then semicolon equal sign divide function now for the numerator we need the sales amount dax measure so i click on it and for the denominator we want the count of distinct day this number and then for the alternate result which is an optional argument i'm going to put in the blank dax function close of the divide click enter and let's apply you know, appropriate currency formatting now for the average daily total the value is 333,687,000.56 dollars. Now let's click on this switch icon to go back to Excel. And wow, we have the three measures ready. Now let's create our table or reports. I'm going to drag the date and drop in the rows. Okay, and it automatically groups the date. Now let's just get out. You know some of these fillers let me get this one out the quarter the month and the quarter now we have the year and let's take our total sales measure first followed by the count of distinct dates 
and followed by the average daily total. So we drop it below. Now, based on this data set, we can see that the total sales for year 2000 is it's four million eight sixty thousand three ten dollars, and the count of distinct dates is two sixty five days, which are unique. And the average daily total is three twenty thousand two to seven. Now you can actually group this. So let's click on any of this cell on a date and come to the pivot table. Analyze contextual one tab and click on group selection. Now let's want to group further by quarters and year, which I removed not quite long. You can actually see for the first quarter of year 2000, the total is 15 million nine fifty nine thousand six zero seven for the first quarter of year 2000. That's the total sales, and we have 59 count of distinct dates, and of course. The average daily total is two seventy thousand five zero one dollars. Okay, so this is how to you know see the trend across different time period. Now we also said you can actually see across you know categories. Now let's see. I do not want you know the date. I want to work with you know brand category or field. Just drop here. Now you can actually see that for the bike, the total sales is sixty five million five zero two thousand five nine. Six dollars and the count of distinct day is 327 um days, and of course, which represents one nineteen thousand seven zero two dollars. So this is essentially how to do this in Excel. Now let's switch to the power BI and do the same thing. Now we have the same data in the power BI, so we need to create our DAX measures. So in the tables tools contextual table tab, click on new measure, and we need to give the name for the new measure. So I'm gonna call this one quickly, you know total sales and put in the equal sign and look at the sum aggregate function and we want the sales table and we want the total column close the sum click enter and we can apply um, appropriate currency formatting so let's put in dollars and let's get this onto two decimal places okay Okay, let's take down out. Cool. Now let's create another measure, which is the count of distinct dates. Okay, so let's put on count of distinct dates equal sign. Then we use the distinct count, and that's going to be based on the sales table. And we want the date column close of the distinct count, and then we have that already here. Okay. And finally, we want to create one measure which is the average daily total. Average daily total. Total, which is going to be equal sign. Equal sign. We want the divide function. The numerator is going to be the total sales measure that we created. Okay, comma. And the denominator is the count of distinct dates. Then for the alternative, Alternate result. You can use the blank and close the divide. Click enter and let's apply appropriate in a currency formatting. And let's come to the report view and let's use our matrix, which is just like pivotable. Okay, and let's expand this. Now for the rows, we want the um, date column. So we have the date column here. Just check this and it comes into the rows. And for the values, we want the total sales measure first. Followed by the count of distinct dates and followed by the average daily total. And let's format our matrix. So come to the grid and let's increase the size of the text. Let's make it you know 15 to be more pronounced. Okay, so we can actually see that we achieve the same outcome for year 2000. We recorded 84 million 860,000 plus, which gave us 265 unique or distinct dates. And of course, the average daily total is 320,227. Now, let's get rid of these extraneous decimals. Okay, I don't like them. So, come to the average daily total and let's, you know, use two. Okay. Now, we have narrowed down to the good. Okay. So, we can see, you can even just, you know, click on this plus icon to collapse and to see the quotas. So, for the first quarter, you can actually see that for the first quarter, we recorded. 15 million nine five nine six zero seven dollars now when you check this box again we drill down further you can see the next hierarchy which are the month and for the month january we recorded five 
four million seven eight two thousand two sixteen, which gave us twenty distinct dates, and of course the value of average daily total is two thirty nine thousand one one zero dollars. So this is essentially how to calculate average daily total in Microsoft Excel and in Power BI. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give the thumbs up, comment in the section below, share, and very importantly, subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.